name is Alan Wenninger and I'm the arborist at Patterson Arboretum. We do a lot of experimenting here. This is a Chinese red pine, Pinus tabuliformis. It's, it has that species name because when it, when it matures, it has a top like a table. So uh, interesting form. It's been growing really well here for probably about 12 years. And this is the first year it's shown some winter damage. The temperature dropped down to minus 43 this year, which might have had an effect on it. You can, you can see the needles are looking a bit rusty brown. It was probably later in the season and the ground was very frozen. It was quite warm and they just dried out. It's a winter injury that involved the sun or wind, some, something that stressed these needles and they, they just couldn't get enough water from the roots to, to keep them going. Other causes of winter browning can be if the top of the tree is stressed because the roots have been damaged in some way. So flooding can, can cause a lot of root damage. We've had a lot of trees in the Arboretum that, that went through that sort of thing. If the, roots, if the roots aren't doing their job, then the top of the tree suffers. Drought is something that's quite common on the prairies here too, and that can cause the needles to dry out. These needles, although, although it looks like it's very bad and the tree is going to suffer, it's really not so bad. What, what you can do is you look at the, the buds, and they're still, they're still green around the buds, and the buds still look healthy. So what, what will happen is, is this will go through its normal yearly cycle, that bud will expand, will be an annual growth of new needles. These ones that are damaged will probably drop off. And after a few seasons of growing like that, it, the tree will look normal again. Here's a healthy green bud. And here's, here's the branch that's been affected by the winter injury. It's, it's now the end of April and this tree will be budding out in early May, so it's best to wait. Wait a few weeks to see if it uh, starts to grow at, from the tips. So the, the worst thing to do would be to say, well, that, that looks brown, so I'm gonna cut it off. Especially on a, on a very symmetrical tree like this, it would just, it would just damage the tree. And it would, it would make it look very, uneven. So, so we just have to be patient and let that grow out. Needles, needles fall off as a, as a normal, normal part, part of the growing of the tree. They have an expected lifetime, a needle. Think of these as leaves. Leaves on deciduous tree, on a deciduous tree would grow every season and fall off in the fall. But on an evergreen, they stick around for a few years. So if you look at the center of the tree, you can see that there's no, there's no needles here. They're falling off. They're in the process of falling off. And that's nothing to worry about. That's just, that's just the normal cycle of the tree. This is a subalpine fir. So it's a very hardy native Canadian tree. It grows in the Rocky Mountains. We're seeing winter injury on it here, probably because of its exposed location. It's, it's showing a similar pattern as some of the other trees that were affected by winter injury. So most of it is on the, the south side. In this case, it's mostly the southwest, where the sun is, is intense, drying out those needles, warming them up when they shouldn't be warming up because the sap isn't really flowing in the tree. So that's, that's most of the injury on this tree. Some of the older needles in the center are starting to drop off too, and that's a normal process. Alpine fir is normally found in dense forests, so it's never growing in nature in, in, a, in an open situation like this. 
So even though it's extremely hardy, it's still showing a bit of winter injury. It's, it's, not, it's not going to kill the tree. The buds are still fine. So that will grow out and eventually, in a few years, needles will drop off and you won't even be able to see the injury. Something like this, the only way to prevent it would be to have a bit of shade around the tree, like some companion trees around it, but it's, it's not severe.